You can use the revealing module pattern in JavaScript to maintain private information using closures while exposing only what you need. So let's consider the following problem. We are going to create an object that is uh, a representation of Clark Kent. So our object is Clark Kent, and it will have a name property of Clark Kent. It will have a secret identity of Superman. Don't tell anybody. Uh, Clark Kent will be able to introduce himself, and this will be a function that says uh, it'll go ahead and return. Hi, my name is this.name. And then we're going to also have a uh, an ability to issue a report. And so since Clark Kent is a reporter, he issues reports, and he'll often report on Superman. So he'll say this dot secret identity saves the day. Great. And so this is a good representation of our object. Uh, we can certainly see that uh, if we have Clark Kent introduce himself, uh, we can run this. And sure, he introduces himself. Great. We can also have Clark Kent issue a report. And if he does this, he reports that Superman saves the day. That's great. But there's a big issue here. Uh, we can very easily tell that Clark Kent's secret identity is Superman. And we don't want this information to be public. So something we can use here in JavaScript is the revealing module pattern. Uh, so we can use an immediately invoked function expression to kind of wrap the information that we expose. Let's see how we can rework this to use the revealing module pattern to let Clark introduce himself, to let Clark issue reports, but not to expose Clark's secret identity. So I'm going to go ahead and just wipe out what we've done so far. And I am going to create an immediately invoked function, function expression. So uh, if you're not familiar, what you can do is basically create a function and then wrap it in parens and then immediately call that. And what you'll do is you run that function immediately and you create a nice little scope closure uh, that you can maintain some variables in, but that don't get exposed outside of the scope of this function. So let's create some of those variables now. Const name equals Clark Kent. Again, const secret identity equals Superman. Uh, we will create our introduce function. And we can do the same introduction. So hi, my name is name. We can have our issues report function and that will be return secret identity saves the day and then finally since this is all scoped within our closure here we need to actually reveal the information that we want to reveal so we can return an object that only contains introduction I guess this should be called introduce, so I'll change that to introduce, introduce, and it reveals issues report. Uh, we can reveal name. That's not really uh, a problem to reveal. And so now if we uh, once again have Clark Kent introduce himself, we can run this in our console. Again, hi, my name is Clark Kent. We can have Clark issue a report. Superman saves the day, but now since we haven't exposed the secret identity outside of our module, if we try to access secret identity on Clark Kent, we get undefined. This is not exposed. The outside world cannot see this. While this is a bit of a silly example, it's important to note that we have tools and patterns at our disposal to maintain privacy and importantly, not expose information beyond where it's really needed.